Bay in downtown Clearwater to open a new seven-story building. The only problem? You cannot see it or attend the ribbon-cutting ceremony because it was only open to members of the Church of Scientology. Our Jason Beisel has reaction from the community. Nathan Gerges greets everyone who comes into the mixed bar and grill downtown Clearwater. But early this afternoon, not many customers walk through his doors. Thousands of people walking, so we would love to attract these people to our businesses and to be, you know, a good place for them. Downtown Clearwater was bustling with tens of thousands of people. Over 10,000 Scientologists visited the area this weekend to attend a special ceremony to open their new flag building, a seven-story, $145 million structure. And as you can see, this is about as close as I could get to today's ceremony because they're not allowing the media inside. They've also closed off roads around the church to keep the public out as well. The Church of Scientology often keeps its ceremonies private, only open to its members. For many residents we talk to, that's disappointing. It is a beautiful building, and we often walk by and wonder what it looks inside. And here we go down there today at the big opening ceremony, and you can't get close enough to see even the outside of it. We asked church officials to speak with us today, but we're told no one was available. With its headquarters sitting downtown Clearwater, residents just wish they knew a little bit more about a church that is such a huge part of their community. You know, to me, it's, it, it's good as long as, you know, all the community interact with each other. Jason Beisel, ABC Action News.